Hello everyone, today we're going to add the sound of our helicopter that will follow the speed of the rotator. So if I press to start my helicopter, you should hear that the sound is following the speed of the blades. And when I shut it off, same thing is happening. So we're going to see exactly how to do this. We're going to go back to our project that we were using. So we need to import the two sound that we're going to use. So one sound to start the helicopter and one sound when the rotator or uh, turning. So we have the first sound and we have the second sound. So we need to create a cue. So the sound will be linked in the description below or you can use your own sound. We need to select both at the same time holding control on your keyboard. Right click and we're going to create a single cue. When it's great, you should have something like this. We're going to open it. So now this one is already completed just to save a little bit of time, but we're going to go through it together. So the first is the start helicopter. So we're going to make sure that it's looping. The second sound is our rotor. We need to make sure that is looping. The first node here is crossfade. We need to put a name here. So I put rotor speed. You can do same. This is all the value that I played with. Feel free to play with those value for yourself and see what you like the most. The other node here, it's a modulator. Same thing, we have the rotor speed for the parameter name and all those value that I play with that I feel sound good for me, but as well play with those value. And make sure that everything is connected like this and you should have no issue obviously if you try to do play cue it's not going to work because of this node here so if you remove that and you connect this directly you see that now it's working okay so don't be worried about that just plug it the way i did with the same value so it can take a few minutes to uh copy those value same thing with the uh, crossfade here and when you're done well we're going to continue this so back in our blueprint for our helicopter, we need to add the sound that we just created, so the cue. So here under the component here, we're gonna click add, and we're gonna search for the audio right here. And if you already selected your cue before, it should do this, otherwise it's just gonna say audio. We're gonna click on this, and gonna rename this. I'm gonna call that audio helicopter. I'm gonna save it there. So now we have our sound, we need to make sure that here in the detail panel, that our cue is selected right here. Okay, that's important, otherwise you will have a audio attached to your helicopter, but with no sound in it. We're going to go all the way down, make sure that the activation is on auto activate, make sure that this is checked, it's really important. And we can compile. So now... We're going to create a custom event, just search for custom event. We're going to call that FX bracket audio. So with this now, I'm going to take our audio helicopter, drag and drop on the board. I'm going to drag from it. We're going to search for float. You have three options. The one that we are interested in is the last one. That's a target is audio company. We're going to select this one. And here, the next option here, it's say in the name, which refer to the name that we put in our queue. So we go back to our queue, we put rotor speed here. It's exactly that name that we need. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it right here. And the float that we need to plug here. If we want our sound to follow the speed of the blades, so if we go to our event tick here, you remember that we use the main rotor speed. It's go from 0 to 25, which make our speed for our uh, rotor. So it's exactly what we want. So we're going to go back down to our audio here, and we're going to take our rotor speed rate, and we're going to plug it right there. So now all the things for our audio are done. We shall not have anything to do with that code here. However, we need to 
call the code on event tick to make sure that the sound is following because right now we, we turn on the helicopter let's go to this but nothing referred to the, the sound that we just created so we're going to drive from that and we're going to search for our fx audio and we have it right here so now this will follow the speed of that so let's try it out i'm going to do play start the helicopter the sound is following when you stop the helicopter the sound does not stop so we need a way to make the sound stop so that's very really convenient because all the code we need is already there on our screen right now so we're going to copy all that Control c Control v or Control w we're going to connect the audio to false right here and we only need to change the value here to zero the reason why is technically when we shut off the helicopter it's already that value here already have a speed from 0 to 25 i mean a value from 0 to 25 so now we want to take that x value and remove that and put it to 0 so we just have to reverse that so we're going to put 0 and the enter speed is at what speed we want that to the sound to shut off so we want that to take to go a little bit faster than starting the helicopter so we're gonna put one and now if we compile and we try it out if we press j it's working and if we press it again the sound will do exactly uh, the same so that's pretty much how you do this so we put the sound that we wanted for helicopter we modify the code a little bit to have the sound follow the rotor speed and also the deceleration of the rotor speed it's pretty much uh, what i wanted to show you today so i will catch you on uh, the next one